before we greet you now, welcome now specially to this our channel. We are not seeing our latest update, updated updates. Now we carry control now for this channel. So I beg, if you never subscribe to our YouTube channel, we can rush now go subscribe. And we can turn on the notification bell so at any time like I say we drop updates, we can be notified. I beg, we can follow us on our Facebook page and we can help us to share our videos so that others say go see them. We can do well. Anyway, my people, we can enter the tour, we can carry comfort now. Governor Peter Umba of Enugu State don't plead with President Tinubu. Make him look into Una the Kanu case. Make him free ambo. Now recent press briefing when he do. Now he make this statement. Oh. Governor Peter Umba for this speech. Talk say President Tinubu assured Nigerian of national healing during the inaugural speech on inauguration day May 29th. Say the release of Unandi Kanu will bring about national healing for Indian land. Anyway, my people, we cannot talk too much. We can leave Unana. We can watch this video and hear more of what Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State talk. I came and frankly, I brought to the president the warm greetings and best wishes. Uh, from the government and the people of Enugu State. But uh, above all, you may also know already that we made massive campaign promises to the people of Enugu and we also have expressed humongous vision. We've taken a bold view of what Enugu could achieve in the next four years in terms of growing our economy from the current levels to 30 billion dollars and one of our core governance philosophy is to 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 collaborate and to have partnership and we have identified the federal government as our core partner we have a huge we have a number of dormant assets in enugu which we believe partnering with the federal government we're able to transform them into productive assets you, a lot of people do not know, but we have huge mineral resources in Enugu. And these resources are sitting under our ground, not being productive. So we believe with the partnership we're trying to basically build with the federal government, we're able to transform these assets into productive assets. We also, of course, you know that the growth level we have, uh, we have proposed is one that is going to be driven by private sector and private sector won the ease of doing business and one of the core indicators of the ease of doing business is security and infrastructure so we also had that conversation with Mr. President we have uh, made a very strong announcement where we've banned the seat at home on Mondays in Enugu and obviously what that means is that we would of course need to you know, heighten our security, tackle the challenges that would flow from that. And, you know, essentially that's uh, what I have come to do. And finally, we also, of course, talk, talk, talked about uh, the release of uh, Namde Kano. You know that the Southeast has uh, made a collective demand to have Namde Kano release and we basically identified with that and request Mr. President who in his inaugural address promised the people that he's going to engender national healing and is going to serve with compassion. So we've basically informed him that this would serve as a pointer to his administration's uh, extension of hands of fellowship to Ndibu. Hey, my people, now the updates will carry comfort at this time. Be this about the uh, what is this uh, governor pizza on bar of Enugu State talking the plea to Baba T, Niger president, make it look into Una the canon case, make it free and also say Una the canon don't really tear for inside Kiri Kiri. And I see another reason that we can drop in a comment on the comment section. We can not forget to like and share. Now do well. See you in our next video.